Example 15. Replace the force and couple system acting on the member in the figure by an equivalent resultant force and couple moment acting at point O. So we follow the Borignan's theorem. We will resolve our 500 force going up. This is, let us call them as F. Why? Because we don't have any other uh, force that is subjected or applied at a certain angle with respect to the horizontal or to the vertical. So we'll just stick with F sub Y and F sub X. And if you can observe, the ratio of the triangle would be 3, 4, 5. Okay, now if you can also observe at the end, at the edge of our structure, we have a couple. We can say that it is a couple because it has the same magnitude at a specified distance with each other and are applied uh, opposite to each other. 200 to the left and the other one at the bottom part is 200 to the right. Okay, so we are tasked to find for the equivalent force. So we start by writing resultant force force f sub r so the x component of our resultant force is equal to the sum of all forces in the x direction assuming to the right positive so that is we have this is equal to 500 times 3 fifths. We have 500 times 3 fifths. And then plus 200 minus 200. So our x component of our resultant force is equal to 500 times 3 divided by 5 plus 200 minus 200, so that is equal to 300 Newton. Next, the value of our y component of the resultant force is equal to the sum of all the y component, uh, of all the forces in the y direction, assuming upward positive. And that is only F sub y and our 750 Newton force. So this is equal to our F sub Y is four fifths, 500 times four fifths minus our concentrated force, which is 750. Then our F sub R Y is equal to 500 times four divided by five is 400 minus 750 that's equal to negative 350 newton or we write this one as following its true sense so that's 350 newton going down so the magnitude of our re resultant force of our f sub r is equal to the square root of f sub r x squared plus f sub r y squared. We substitute the values so that is 300 squared plus 350 squared and the magnitude of our resultant force is equal to 300 squared plus 350 squared. Take the square root and that is equal to 460.977229 Newton. For its magnitude, I know, sorry, 
uh, for its direction f sub r uh, uh let me raise that should be theta direction of f sub r direction which is theta so that is theta is equal to inverse tangent f sub r y over f sub r x and we substitute our values our f sub r y is 350 like i uh, again i am using the positive value because i am using the true sense of our y component but we already know that the y component of our f sub r is going down then our f sub r x is 300 so therefore theta is equal to 350 divided by 300 inverse tangent and that is 49.39 eight seven zero five three five degrees going down to the right okay so this is our theta now for our moment resultant moment I will be presenting to you guys two options on our solution, okay? Moment M sub R. So we have first option that would be moment about point O. Assuming counterclockwise positive is equal to the sum of all moments about point O plus all the sum of moment couple moments. So that is, this is equal to, we have, uh, we know that our 750 Newton follow a clockwise moment, F sub Y counter, F sub X is uh, clockwise and our 200 Newton follows a counterclockwise moment, both 200 to the right and 200 to the left uh, are follow, follows a counterclockwise moment. So therefore, this is, we start with what is positive. Uh, and like I said, I will be considering 200 here as uh, a couple moment. So therefore, we'll only provide F sub Y, F sub X on a 750. And that is F sub Y f sub y so like i said f sub y is counterclockwise and its perpendicular distance is 1.25 plus 1.25 that is 2.5 times 2.5 minus f sub x and the perpendicular distance of f sub x is 1 minus our 750 times its perpendicular distance, which is 1.25. And plus our couple moment, which is 200 times its perpendicular distance, which is 1. So that's 200, 200 times 1. So we substitute the values of f sub y and f sub x. y is 4 fifths, x is 3 fifths, and 500. So this is 500 times 4 fifths times 2.5 minus 500 times 3 fifths times 1 minus 750 times 1.25 plus 200 times 1. And this is 
equal to 500 times 4 divide 5. That's 400 times 2.5. This is 1,000 minus 500 times 3 divided by 5. That's 300 times 1. This is 300 minus 750 times 1.25. That's 937.5 plus, of course, 200. So this is equal to 1,000 minus 300 minus 937.5 plus 200. And this is negative 37.5. And our unit is in Newton meter. And we will report our answer following the true sense of our moment. That is 37.5 Newton meter clockwise. Now this is option one. When I say another option, Rather than consider our 200 as a couple, we will consider them individually, right? Okay, so meaning, let me rewrite this one, moment about point O, assuming counterclockwise positive is equal to the sum of all moments that acts about point O. So we just have to copy this one. This is... F sub y times 2.5 minus F sub x times 1 minus 750 times 1.25. Now, for our 200, if you can observe our 200 that is going to the left, follows a counterclockwise moment about point O. And our 200 uh, Newton force going to the right also follows a counterclockwise moment about point O, right? And if you can observe that the one, uh, our point O is at the middle part of, uh, of our two 200 Newton. So therefore, the perpendicular distances of our 200 is 0 0.5. So it means we have to add 200 and then multiply it with 0 0.5 and then add another 200 times 0 0.5 which is of course 200 times 0 0.5 is 100 plus 200 times 0 0.5 is still 100 so that is still equivalent to 200 times 1 and still you will end it up will end up with 37.5 Newton meter clockwise.